Good evening. Tonight we're going to focus on a controversial and mysterious condition known as Morgellons. Been investigating here at KTVU may come as a bit of a comfort to sufferers and says this is not something they've imagined. It's quite real. On the other hand, there's no known cure. How far would you go to get your answers? Are you seeing this? Affirmative. Anne's 40-year-old husband, Tom, died two years ago in January, and she believes his death was due to a contagious illness that has infected her entire family. Tell me what you believe is happening on your skin. It's like fibers that come out of your skin? Yes, there's this fibrous material. Um, it's in layers. I look at your arm. Our hands your swell hands. and they itch and... It's been described as feeling as if either bugs are crawling on the surface of your skin or underneath your skin. Both horrifying and fascinating. From here in Florida to the Bay Area, something seems to be causing a mysterious new disease. In my mind, an engineer that sacrificed himself with this virus and it created this horrific... What we thought we knew is just a tiny tributary of what's actually going on. We'll find out who this was. They are not gods. They say out of slow healing skin lesions will come bizarre filaments. We are now mapping. Those engineers made something they shouldn't have. We know that there is something real going on here. Where did he come from? Paradise. Take us home. If you don't stop it, they won't find a home to go back to. <laughs> Big things have small beginnings. And that his mother, me, needed a thorough psychiatric evaluation. Instead of a psych evaluation, Mary began poring through the medical literature, looking for clues. What she discovered was a 17th century reference to a strange disease with so-called harsh hairs, called Morgellons. And she she says that. other doctors might also, if only they would look. And the few that have seen patients often have never actually gotten down with either a handheld microscope or a dermatoscope and looked at the patient's skin to see these fibers. On the day we filmed this, Wymore's colleague, Dr. Rhonda Casey, examined that chronic sore on Drew's lip, which, after five years, still had not healed. Plain as day, definitely a fiber. There are fibers there, and I have never seen fibers in any other child's rash similar to this.